On this part we're going to look at different ways of using corner finishing and we're going to use corner finishing in conjunction with pattern finishing to give a better toolpath. The first toolpath we'll, we'll create is a standard pencil trace in three axes. This part is really quite deep with a small radius at the corner so looking at the tool that we have defined it's really not suitable. The tool overhang is way too long and still we have a collision with the tool holder. Of course Powermill could easily detect this but we need to tilt the tool and perhaps use a tapered tool as you can now see. I'm going to change the tool axis to lead and lean. I'm leaning over by 45 degrees in this instance and I'm going to convert the pencil trace using pattern finishing. If we animate this, we can see that now the tool is much stronger and we do not have collisions. But what you can probably see here is excessive rotary motion, which is going to be rotating the A and the C axis on the machine tool unnecessarily. So instead of using lead lean, it's probably better to use from a curve. This curve can be sketched using the curve editor. And here we have a very simple 2D curve made of lines and arcs. Very simple. If we take a look at this toolpath, it's much improved. We've dramatically reduced the C-axis motion. If we animate this again, and now if we view from above, we'll see that the majority of the C-axis motion has been taken away. But we've still got the up and down A-axis motion which is really quite unnecessary also. The Tool Axis Limits tab on the Tool Axis page can help us eliminate this. If we switch on Tool Axis Limits and fix the elevation angle, both minimum start and end, to 45 degrees, this is going to lock the A axis on the machine tool at 45 degrees, preventing any excessive rotary motion. If we continue to animate the toolpath around, you can see that all along this edge it's 3 plus 2 axis, only rotating in the corners where it is absolutely necessary. 